Hello, welcome back to the Scrapbook Pal YouTube channel. This is Carrie Rhodes. Today I am going to be sharing with you an ensemble of Father's Day projects featuring some products from Avery L and their Peekaboo line. I love all things Peekaboo from Avery L, so I wanted to play with this Peekaboo Jungle set, and then I'll bring in some of my other favorites, like this leafy frame die set and the treat topper die. I use this die all the time. It's so fun. And then one of the tried and true Peekaboo favorites, Peekaboo Pals, plus maybe a couple other things. <laughs> As I start creating, I threw in a few more. So I die cut that leafy frame, and when I first cut it, I did have a little bit of trouble getting those leaves to separate from the center. So when I cut the second one, I added a shim that was just a piece of copy paper, and then ran it through my die cut machine and it came out so much easier. So if you have trouble with those little intricate edges, try a shim. I'm going to layer these two up so that I have um, more of a jungle feel um, with leaves from the back and the front. So that's why I have two in two different colors of green. Next, I'm creating a little bit of a sky background. Most of it's gonna be covered up, so I didn't feel the need to do a really fancy cloud background. Just taking some mermaid ink from Lawn Fawn and a uh, makeup style blending brush and adding some little wisps of that color across there to give it the feel of a sky. I'm gonna set those things aside and then bring out my stamp set to do some stamping. So I'm gonna stamp out the lion and the giraffe and their little feet, little hooves. I'm gonna use this open leaf from the set, and then I'm gonna stamp my sentiment separate, so I'll set that set aside and bring in the peekaboo car. I wanted this to look like maybe a little safari Jeep, so I'm gonna stamp that out as well, and I'm using Lawn Fawn Jet Black ink so that I can do some Copic coloring with this set. Also, I wanted a bunch of leaves, so I'm gonna take that leaf off and stamp it multiple times across this paper so I can just fill up my card and my projects with leaves. And now on to the coloring. Here's all the markers that I'm going to be using today. I wanted this Jeep to kind of have um, a rusty red color to it, not like super bright red. So I brought in E07 and E 15 for my darker colors. The E15 barely showed up, um, but then for the red, I'm bringing in R17, which blended out really well and went really well with the E07 marker. So I'll fill that in with that lighter color and then add a little bit more shadowing with the E07. And then I'm gonna color in the grill with the E07. But then those open parts of the grill, I'm doing some warm grays. So warm gray 10 and warm gray 08. And I'll use those same colors for the tires. And then for the headlights on my car, I'm using just B00. I'm coloring the whole thing in and then I'll go around the edge a couple times just to get a little bit of a shadow. For my lion, I am using E13 and Y17 for the yellow part. I just wanted to tone that yellow down a tiny bit. And then I'll use E13 and E11 for his nose and his tummy. And for his mane, I'm gonna darken that up a little bit with E18, E15, and then blending that out with my E13 marker. Once I did all of this, I did feel like I could darken up the yellow a little bit. And so I went over that again with the same markers, E13 and Y17 and I love how he turned out. I'm using those same colors for the giraffe, and I will bring in some E18 and E15 for his spots. And I'm, I am using two colors, even though they're tiny, just to get a little bit more depth on them. All right, for the leaves, I have Y11, Y, YG11, YG13, and YG17, and just coloring each of them or coloring all of them at the same time. And I love this light to dark look. However, 
there is a solid leaf image in this stamp and I will show you that in just a second so if you don't want to color your leaves you don't have to but here again is a look at all the markers I used and then I wanted to show you that one thing I love about the peekaboo line is that there's two dies for the paws well there's two stamps for each paw and two dies I love that so I don't have to stamp one paw twice so clever. So here's that solid one. I've stamped it out just by itself. You could use it just like this, or you can layer them together. So you can stamp the outline and then stamp the inside. So you wouldn't have to color them. So there's three different ways you can use those leaves. So I um, stamped a bunch of leaves and I will die cut all those out to use on my projects today. I'm going to layer up these leafy frames on top of my sky and I like the dark one in the background because I feel like as things fade off into the distance, they're darker. So that's why I put the, the darker one in the background and the lighter one on the top. And you just want to make sure that you rotate them. And you'll see here that I second guessed myself. It was right, then I turned it, it was wrong, and then I'd turn it back. But yeah, just make sure you have them offset before you glue them down. Now I'm just kind of getting a placement idea for my car, and then I'll insert my little lion. But see, if you glue him in the back, it looks more like a car. But if you glue him so he's on top of that outer frame of the car, it looks more like a Jeep, like it's open, right? So then he put his little paws on the steering wheel and it's so adorable. And then the little giraffe goes in. So if this is a Father's Day card, this could be like you and your dad in the car. Or um, maybe you're making a Father's Day card for your husband. It could be... Um, him and one of your kids or you like there's so many possibilities and I am doing the sentiments on this card so that if you don't have a father to celebrate in your life these could easily be used just as masculine cards so this says have a great day and then I'm going to emboss that with clear powder so it's the Versafine Onyx Black Ink with clear embossing powder over the top I use the die from the uh, same stamp set and mounted all those onto my card to create a scene. I used foam squares for my sentiment and the Jeep and some of the leaves and then I added this little bird from the market stand stamp set. Also another great um, set you can put a peekaboo pal in and I thought it was the perfect addition or little extra something for this card. I added a few leaves to the inside and that finishes up the card and you could always write happy father's day on the inside or stamp it happy father's day on the inside here's a matching treat bag this is the treat topper die I love it so much I have used it numerous times I love that it has the little handle the little um stitching details and the little um, zigzag edge. So I put both of the leaves onto my block and I'm stamping that repeatedly to create a background on this tag topper. And this is freshly cut grass ink from Lawn Fawn. And I'll just fill that up. I'm going to do both sides of the tag so that there are leaves on the front as well as the back of this tag. The, ta the back of this tag would be a good place to write a little sentiment um, or, you know, to from or something like that. And once that's done, I wanted a little splatter, so I'm smooshing that ink pad down onto my mat, spritzing the ink with water, and using a paintbrush to splatter on some of this color, just to give a little more interest to the background. And I made sure to move my tag out of the way because splatter can sometimes get out of hand, and it goes places you don't want it to go. So make sure you protect anything you don't want splattered. So once all that is splattered, I have a sponge, and I'm gonna add color to the edge, which I feel when you have a one layer piece, adding a little bit of ink to the edge really helps to give it the look of depth, and it helps to draw your eye in. So I like sponging, it's kind of old school, right? But I love it. it really has its place. So I'm going to close this and fold it in half and then add a little more sponging to that edge and the handle as well. Um, there was a few open spots. I will go back later and stamp some leaves around the edge of this tag that, so that you can see them more from the front. So this says, love you fiercely. 
and I thought this was super cute. This would be great if you're giving it to your husband, um, but there's plenty of sentiments in the set that you could change it out if you were giving it to your dad and maybe didn't want it to say I love you fiercely, but maybe you do. It's a really cute sentiment, and I thought adding a little doodling to the edge of this banner would be really fun. It's um, big enough that you have the extra space. This is the Peekaboo Pal set. I wanted a critter to hang down, to hang upside down. So you could use the sloth like I am or even the monkey for this particular project. And here you can see the markers I'm using to color out the sloth E. 18, 15, and 13, just like I used on the other critters. And I like to sometimes go back and darken things up after I've added one layer. Sometimes it just needs that extra um, layer of blending. And then I'll use those same E18, E15, E13 for my sloth. And I'm just going to continue coloring back and forth with the, those three colors until I get the blend that I like. And the mid-tone um, marker for this one, it was really the, the main color. So that's the one that I used to blend all the things out. Here I'm using that little bird again. I thought I would show you how I colored him. I used um, warm grays, 10, 8, and I brought in 6 to color um, and blend over that area where his eye was especially so it didn't uh, fade out like it did on the first one I colored and I didn't use the number six marker and then I did use a black gel pen to darken the eye on the first one because it got covered up so much. So here I am uh, popping up that banner with some foam squares as well as my little baby bird. He's so cute. And then I'll add some leaves around there and I'm just loving the really fun jungle look of this particular project. I like the depth when you add the stamping, the splattering, the sponging, and then the stamped images on top. It's just a really fun look. All right, so we're gonna add this topper to a four by six flat cellophane bag. You can find these all over the World Wide Web. I'm filling that up with some M&Ms. I have a mix of peanut M&Ms and the new fudge brownie M&Ms, and I just bring this up because I think those fudge brownie ones are super yummy. You can see I have some in the bag and some for me, right? I had to try them. I'm folding down the bag and stapling it to the back of this topper, and then I'm going to use um, my tape to close it but first I want to make sure and add my little sloth who's going to be hanging upside down like sloths do right sloths sorry and then some double stick tape to close this down that way the staples hold the bag in but the tape closes it up so you don't have staples showing on the front side of your project and then I'll add his little paws with some foam squares and the paws just make it it, the paws are the thing that makes the peekaboo line so much fun. And I like to add little things in their paws, so I thought the sloth should have a leaf that he's going to munch on in his hand. So there's a cute little treat bag that you could give with the card. And I also wanted to make a tag because I loved the round die from that leafy frame set. And look, you can use your leftover pieces from the leafy frame to cut out the circle frame. Perfect. I'm gonna layer those up just as I did on the card onto a white piece. This is a two and three fourths inch circle and a little bit of this circle will show past the edge of these frames. So you could um, trim that off if you wanted or you could find a smaller circle die that was an in-between size if you didn't want the white to show. I didn't mind it showing, I left it on mine. So I'm gonna offset these and have those double layers again. I love that look. And we'll glue that down to the circle, leaving um, a little bit open. Like I'm not putting glue right to the edge of the leaves so I can tuck in my little critter here in a minute. I'm using a paper piercer just to pierce a hole in that to make it a tag because if you're giving your dad a gift, maybe you'd want to add a tag to it that matches your card. So I've stamped the zebra from the Peekaboo Jungle set and I'm using warm gray markers, warm gray two and zero, just to add a little bit of shadowing to this. This is the easiest Peekaboo Pal critter to color ever because it's black and white. You just need a little bit of shadowing, but it would be fun if you wanted to color him some crazy colors too. 
So I die cut that and we'll tuck him right in behind those leaves on the tag. I'm going to use some little foam squares to pop up his hooves like he's just peeking out from behind those leaves. And then we need a sentiment for this card. So this says, sending lots of hugs. I felt like it was a little bit long. So after I emboss this, I'm gonna use my scissors. You could use a paper trimmer if you feel more comfortable or a die to cut out just the words, lots of love, lots of hugs. And I'll flag the end by snipping it up the center and then cutting it from the corner to the top of my snip. I'm adding some twine to that and then I'll poke a hole in my lots of hugs and add the twine through that as well. Now, um, I could have left this just hanging loose, but I didn't want it to hang right on the face of my zebra. So once I tie the knot in this, I'm gonna secure that sentiment down with some foam squares. So it's still attached to the twine, but I thought it was nice to have it out of the way. And then one more leaf and I decided it looked better tucked behind the sentiment. So there's the tag, quick and simple. You can easily write on the back of this tag. And there you have an ensemble of Father's Day or masculine projects. And I think they turned out great. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. You can find all the products that I use listed for you below. And you can also see these on the Scrapbook Pal blog. So be sure to check that out too. Thank you so much for stopping by and have a fabulous day. Bye!